Hi, this is Nick and today I will show you how to make really easy Christmas tags. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe and that bell button to get notified of new videos. For this project, we will be using white cardstock because we're gonna stamp on it. You have to trim your cardstock to your desired size. Mine is two and a quarter by three and a half inches. And then you can see here, I'm trying to select which stamp I'm gonna use. I pre-selected from my stamps which one would fit the theme which is Christmas and I thought I'd use this cat inside a box and this sentiment saying for you. I'm just trying to line them up in the card to see how nice it would look like or how to position them. It would be actually a good idea to do this before trimming your paper so that you have enough space. In my case here, there's just enough room for both stamps and there's not that big of enough of a space to write my name or the name of the recipient but well, that's okay. I can just write them really tiny. Here you see me using my stamping tool. This is the Tim Holtz stamping press and I really love it because aside from the color, it's just really nice to use. This stamping tool can actually be used for both clear stamp and cling rubber stamps. Those rubber stamps that are really thick. So you can just change it out and use this tool which is really good because some of the stamping tools you can only use clear stamps on them because the the window or the what do you call that that door can only handle cl clear stamps i love using this tool because if i make a mistake in stamping i can just ink the stamp again and stamp it on top and it will land on the same place and it makes it really really easy to, to correct mistakes or to actually stamp in bulk for these tags i'm intending to color them with watercolor so i used inks that will withstand the water for the cat, I used Black Ranger Archival Ink and for the sentiment, I used the Spanish Moss Chukineco Versafine Ink. The Ranger Ink is easier to find. You can buy it from Art Bar, but the one that I have, which is a small pad, I got it from the Yellow Violet House. The Chukineco pads, the Versafine ones at least, are a little harder to find. I usually buy them online from Scrap Happy or from the stashes in the planner groups. So here you see me setting up my watercolor. I'm squeezing some water and trying to choose the colors that I want to use. You'll see me getting some scrap paper and trying to swatch the watercolors in them. This is so I know the color or how it would look like in my paper. I'm also trying to figure out which brown would fit the color of the cardboard box perfectly. I have no skills in coloring in, or in watercoloring. Like coloring in general, I really suck at it. I just put on some color not really minding the shading and stuff. I just know that some parts need to be darker like the ones at the back of the cat. But other than that, I don't know. So I'm just putting in some color and I'm trying my best to apply whatever I know about shading which is not really that much. But I like how these turned out. I'm not painting or coloring the entire tag, just bits of the stamped images so that it's not overpoweringly colored and because I'm lazy. The cat is a calico cat, so I just colored a part of it. I used the color orange because it's from me and I love the color orange. It just has to have some orange in there. And then I colored the, I don't know what that's called, the ascot of the cat. I colored it green or olive green to kind of match the sentiment. When I make something, I usually limit the colors to just three so that it's not overwhelmingly colorful. and just you know just enough color to make me happy next i took out my stamping i don't know what this thing is called but i bought it to label stuff so let's call it a stamp labeler here i'm setting up my name i'm getting the small stamps or the small letters to form my name nick and i'm inking it with the same ink that i used for the sentiments because again i want to keep the colors um neutral or not really neutral but I want to limit to three colors and then now I'm stamping my name and then later on I'll put a heart at the end or at the start of my name with the color orange just so you know it to indicate that it's from me and so it's done I'm just gonna squeeze the name of the recipient somewhere in there and attach it to my gifts and it's done mm -hmm. 